Welcome to the 2021 Wayne State Softball Preview. I'm Sports Information Director Jeff Weiss, and joined by Head Coach Gary Bryce. Gary, well, let's start with last year, although it was obviously an abbreviated season. The Warriors were off to a good start at 10 and 5, and you have 15 returning letter winners from that squad. That obviously uh, should help the Warriors this season. Well, you know, you certainly hope to. We didn't lose any seniors, and we're uh, senior heavy, if you want to put it that way. And hopefully, uh, having been in the program at least four years, some of these uh, players will be five. That uh, that'll turn into some uh, positive things. Sounds good. Um, you talked about the veterans. Let's you know if you potentially around the infield, you could have four starters who are either in their fourth or fifth year of college softball. I mean that kind of um, veteran experience behind a uh, pitching staff has got to put their mind at ease that they know they've got some quality players behind them. Well, we, we have an exceptional uh, infield. I mean, uh, Rose does re has really improved at third, uh, starting to play like she did her senior year in high school with a lot more ease and flair and so on. And of course, uh, uh, Kressler and uh, Rainey at short and second, uh, I think they're two of the better middle infielders in Division Two in the country. Of course, there'll be other teams that'll say they have the same amount, you know. But uh, those kids are really good, and uh, they'll have another year next year. They're coming back, uh, and then uh, we have uh, Emma Adams at first, and sometimes uh, um, uh, Brooke T uh, plays first when she's not catching. So we have some interchangeable parts, but our infield is probably our strongest part of our uh, team. You mentioned Brooke playing first, obviously having a fifth year senior behind the dish to, you know, calm your pitchers down if need be, or just, you know, calling the game. And obviously you've got some depth back there with Becky having played a little bit last year and you brought in a junior college uh, catcher and Avery Ludwig. Yeah, the three catchers are pretty good. Uh, Becky's really stepped up and improved as, as a sophomore. Uh, uh, should get some playing time. And uh, Avery uh, was uh, McCombs' uh, main catcher last year and, and does a really job catching the pitchers. And uh, hopefully all three of them, their hitting will come along and uh, add to our, our ability to score and win. Um, we've always talked about um, veterans, but the outfield's kind of the other group. You've got a couple of veterans and Rachel Clayton and Emily Dodge, but then you've got some young kids out there with Brooke Nadoni and uh, Gabe, Gabby Capel, so who obviously saw some time last year, but limited because you only played 15 games. Well, Rachel's you know, a fifth-year senior here, uh, so and she's come a long ways from her freshman year, I think, is – matured and uh, potentially could be, you know, one of those hidden factors, not only in hitting, but uh, a lot more confidence and feeling. Brooke, of course, uh, plays center for us if she's not pitching. Brooke could probably play anywhere and be a decent athlete. Uh, is a third time, uh, all time home run hitter in the country in high school. Uh, so in the first team, uh, high school All-American and got off to a great year last year before we were shut down. So you, ex you would expect some big things out of her hitting, but she's just a great ball player. And then uh, left field is uh, uh, Kappa, just uh, she's come along too. And uh, just that, it, just being around an extra year has really uh, brought, brought everybody together. We got a couple of freshmen that uh, Shelby and uh, uh, is one that played on a Canadian junior team. She's a shortstop, but we're moving mm -hmm. her to, to, to the outfield. And uh, so, and then we got Abby that's uh, from Chicago that's got great quickness and plays with a lot of pep and energy, and she'll also be in the outfield. So I think we believe we're going to be pretty solid all the way around. Obviously, in fast pitch softball, you win with pitching. You've got uh, junior Paige Emil, senior Amy Clayton. You mentioned Brooke, you know would pitch as well. And obviously it was off to a good start in the circle as well. And then you have a freshman, Alexis Bonk. So you've got four quality arms there to turn to when you need to, when you need them in the circle. Well, I think in any, any game of baseball or softball, you never have enough pitching. Hmm. Um, Paige has uh, really developed uh, over the summer and so on. And is throwing a lot better, a lot more um, serious center pitching. 
type of thing. Uh, elections to the freshman, but uh, played on one of these high powered summer teams, uh, national qualifying teams. And uh, we expect, and she's just a good athlete. So we'd expect her to do a good job for us. And Amy did a great job for us last year because he's a down thrower. And almost all the pitchers today are up throwers or rise ball throwers, if you want to do that. And she pitched some big games for us last year. Like against Indianapolis, we mercy them. They couldn't hit her. Uh, you don't see a lot of down throwers. So she caught them there. And hopefully uh, she'll continue to have that success. And uh, Brooke, will go, Brooke will step in and pitch her there and so on and so forth. So we think our staff is uh, pretty solid. And we hope they do a great job. Well, not looking too far ahead, but obviously the NCAA has changed their tournament format this year. They've eliminated the Super Regionals and gone to one six-team regional um, with the winner obviously going to the College World Series. You've been part of that format before, back in the early 2000s, obviously with you know COVID restrictions and protocols. That's going to be a, a slightly different format than what we've used to the last decade. Uh, that's true. I mean, I think... Uh... When you put three leagues together, the GMAC, the Great Lakes Valley, and the, uh, our league, uh, there's some great teams in there. And uh, certainly, you know, with Grand Valley and uh, Saginaw, and now Northwoods kind of rose to the occasion, I, I, it's going to be pretty competitive. The question uh, will be uh, that almost uh, every league is going to play within their league, and that'll be a de uh, defining factor. Yes, we're going out to play some non-league games, but not like we used to. Mm -hmm. So it'll be, and that's for everybody. So it'll be interesting to see how that comes about. Yeah, obviously with 32 of your 40-some games being in the conference, you know, you're pretty limited on your non-conference. So um, on a personal note, this is your 40th year, um, your seventh all-time on the NCAA win list for all championships or for all three divisions. And you recently announced your retirement. Uh, what made you decide at 40 years that that was going to be it? How about in March, I'll be 80. <laughs> that probably had a little to do with it. You know, um, I, it's, 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 uh, I've been coaching sincerely multiple sports and I, since I've been 16 years old. I took a midget team and won the World Series at 16. Uh, I've played in some World Series, not Major League World Series, but softball. I've been in fast pitch softball since 1960, so that's what about 60 some years. <laughs> primarily, primarily win men because there were no women's sports when I was a young guy. Women's softball came in the state of Michigan as about the uh, mid 70s, maybe 74, 75. I took uh, Royal Oak Don Darrell's high school team over and was fortunate to uh, win a Class A state championship in 79, and three of those kids went on and played for Michigan. Uh, so I was in the right spot at the right time and uh, got a college job and uh, been very successful. Coley's done an excellent job, uh, and Pat uh, played for me for two years and has been my, one of my assistants ever since, and uh, we've got a great staff. So that uh, leads to a lot of uh, success when you have a great staff. Well, sounds great, Gary. This should be a very uh, interesting year and hopefully the veteran later in squad can uh, send you out on a winning note here. Well, hopefully with your, your uh, squeezing this in and that in and all the things that you do that, and we're able to win some games, maybe we'll have a chance to play in the regionals and maybe even host because we have lights. So it would be awesome to do that. That would be a tremendous thing. Well, thanks very much, Coach. We really appreciate your time.